So I have been talked out of so many ambitions and aspirations, which I'm sure is something a lot of people can relate to. I've either been talked out of it externally or I've been talked out of it internally. Once upon a time, I wanted to be a truck driver. Another time I wanted to be a mortician. And what I always had a passion for is art, any form of art, visual, dance, like even poetry. I don't, I, I'd never really liked poetry, still don't really like it to this day, but I appreciate its form. I appreciate all forms of art, whether I personally like it or not. Um, and I was never encouraged to pursue art and then I was around people with a lot of toxic mindsets towards their own art. For those of you who were on DeviantArt in the early days, where people pretty much promoted themselves by trashing themselves, I was on that platform at that time. And it just, it, I realized myself that it was not the place to be. I eventually left and ultimately stopped posting my art uh, publicly, which is trauma that I'm only recently getting over. Um, because it's, you know, their stuff is glamorous. If I like their stuff and they think their stuff is shit, then like, what the fuck is mine? Mine's worse than shit. Like that caused trauma. And they were also probably coming from a really traumatic place to talk about themselves so terribly when they were so ultimately talented and had so many fans. They were definitely coming from a place of trauma to be so... <laughs> incredibly talented and have so many fans and still call their stuff shit. Um, but the one thing that I couldn't be talked out of when I was faced with the reality of my situation of like, housing is fucking hard. Like, the economy sucks. People, some people do suck, some people don't suck. But like, even people that don't suck are affected by like this fucking crisis that is being controlled by other people. It looks like I'm gonna be homeless, what am I gonna do? Well, if I'm gonna be homeless, I'm gonna travel. And I'm going to learn and gain experiences, experience different things, eat a lot of different kinds of foods. I'm gonna do that. And back when I set that goal, I had no intentions for international travel. And now I am just expanding that to international like of course I gotta get a passport and stuff and oh, that, I thought that person was a mannequin for a second <laughs> of course I'm gonna get a passport um, and pretty much go from there like it's just like what I've been doing except on the international level and you know Anonymous, faceless people on the internet will call me a moocher and all this here, all the same. And what doesn't get me down about that, what, what makes that laughable, is that one, there are people who care about me. And that circle only grows with the more people that I get to know and the more people that I also care about. And second, there are anonymous people behind a screen who will probably never interact with me like even if I did come to where they are they wouldn't approach me in public <clears throat> and then there are people who will probably never see my content that will totally that would totally think that you know being an unhoused international traveler is delusional in and of itself but then they're going to meet me and they're going to be like, oh shit, how do you do it? And like be all up in my grill and be all up interested. And people who live their dreams don't disparage other people who live their dreams. Whatever their dream is. Whatever that is. Um, and like, why would I listen to you? You're not listening. You're not listening to yourself. Like, you're not... You're not delusional. You're not living your party. Why would I or anyone else listen to you? Like, you, get out. <laughs>